Hi there, internet associate. It's Anthony. And I'm about to watch another episode of The Walking Dead. So this is season two, episode seven, pretty much dead already. So I'm guessing that's how a lot of these characters are probably feeling at this point. Like they're pretty much dead already. So maybe that'll kind of relate to whatever's going on in this episode or somebody will say this. I guess we'll find out. I'll find out. You probably already know. A lot of secrets just came out last episode, so let's go ahead and get into this and see where these characters are headed next. Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 7, pretty much dead already. Very somber atmosphere going on here right now. Feels accurate to how these characters will probably normally feel. The barn's full of walkers. Spill the beans. Wow, that was pretty scary. You cannot tell me you're all right with this. We can't just sweep this under the rug. It ain't right. Well, y'all, honestly, if y'all got a problem with it, I'd say it, but you just gotta go. Like, that's really, you can't just waltz up in there and then not only, like, you know, stay longer than expected, but then also start messing with stuff they got going on on their land. I mean, yeah, this is pretty crazy, but it's their land. It's their decision. I mean, if y'all don't like it and you don't feel safe, leave otherwise i guess you just have to deal with it like why because my daughter's still out there okay, okay. <laughs> shane's like your I daughter doesn't matter start to just consider that and i possible. disagree her daughter definitely does matter gears around your neck she would run in the other direction Shut up. All right, wait, just stop. Stop. Just stop. shane be so out of line sometimes keep your hands off me Shane just, just be crazy out of line sometimes. Let me figure it out. Now what are you gonna figure out? Not See y'all causing the commotion out there and agitating them. Giving them more reason to try to break out. Maybe before they weren't going to. Because they were getting stuff fed to them. Wow, I mean obviously that wasn't gonna Why lead to anywhere you good. Waste an egg like that? She's gonna like it here place it could be a home i'm really looking forward to seeing carl grow more more over the course of this series because we've already seen him grow so much and so i feel like over the course of the series assuming he stays alive and stays around on the show you know we're gonna see plenty more growth in carl in terms of you know maturity and just his age obviously we don't know if we're gonna find her daryl we don't Daryl really believes it. He's like, Daryl believes it more than anybody else, I think. What? You all right? Just leave me be! Dang. Stupid bitch. Ooh. I can imagine Daryl being mad though. He's like, I've done all this. Don't start giving up now. I don't know what's going on with you and him. Him? Shane. Daryl. It's not my business. Dale knows All it everything. to me is that you, you may not really know him. He's not a victim. In a way, he kind of is. In a way, Shane is the biggest victim of all these people. If we're really being real, like this man, this whole series, it feels like, has sort of been fueled by a victim mentality. You keep watch? Dale. What is Dale about to do, man? He's making yeah. me nervous. What is going through Dale's mind right now? He's a tough guy to read. Yet he can read everyone else so well. Herschel's not going to be happy to know everybody knows about the walkers. You're saying? I don't want to talk about the barn. I don't want to debate. Not a debate. A discussion. She's like, you remember where you are, right? I need you and your group gone. I knew it. By the end of the week. I was like, this is going to push Herschel over the edge. My wife's pregnant. <laughs> He's like, are you crazy? That's either a gift here or a death sentence out there. Think about I it. thought about it. Think about it again. We can't go out Think there. Think about it again. And Rick is trying his best to like be respectful and be like, yeah, it's your decision. 
please consider this. But it's like, at the same time, he is not taking no for an answer. How are we gonna do that? We will, okay? Now we gonna we make will. it safe, okay? Rick. No, man, it's not okay, Rick. Lori's pregnant. <laughs> like, what? Shane probably thinks it's his. Congratulations. <laughs> he, he doesn't know that Rick knows. Is this about you and the Asian boy? Yeah. Do you want no, him to? His name is Glenn. You can stay calling him the Asian he boy. He saved my life yesterday when one of the people you think sick tried to kill me. Okay, it's not about me and Glenn. It's not about me and you. It's about you. It's about who you are, who you're going to be. About being humane. It's Rick. You ain't built for this world. Oh my gosh, Shane. Not what it is now. You won't. I just want to ask you, how many times has Rick saved your That night at the camp. That night at the camp after the fish fry. See, no. That was me too. He said that was me too. You see, Rick. Really, Shane? But even if it's yours, it's not going to be yours. It's never going to be yours. And there's nothing you can do to change that. I don't need to. What is that supposed to mean, man? That's a good point, though. Yeah, like, even if it is technically Shane's, it's still not Shane's. Can I do for a second? Not a good time to talk to Shane, if there's ever a good time to talk to Shane. But that's, that's bullshit. Hey man, watch <laughs> We're gonna stay here until we find her. Go Carl. I love how you got the hat on and everything. Hey Carl, I'm gonna hear you talk like that again. Huh? Shane can be kind of infuriating sometimes. He's okay? Oh, he's fine. Well, why'd he bail then? So you wouldn't tell me which way you went. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. You don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. You just sink in. Oh, That's are, they, are they saving a walker? You knew him? Louis and Louise. That's how you're going to have to treat them. My farm, my barn, my say. Fair enough, man. As long as you're keeping these things at bay. You see it? Definitely see safely what? secured. Well, fine. Uh, Cherokee Rose? Easy, Rick. Lead him. Give me a spot for us. <laughs> they really leading these walkers around. Lead him, Rick. You have a carrot. No. I let them lower me into that well like it was fun. Like I was playing Portal. Portal. It's a video game. Of course, that's a video. And then the phone. Oh, that's a, that's a fun video I game. Something. So that's why I told him. Okay, Glenn. Hey, Walker Bait. Don't call me that. Standing up for himself. Okay, Glenn. Hey, that's the same thing I said. <laughs> Guess that's just what he needed to do or what she needed to hear. Like, he's like, I did what I wanted to, but I felt like I had to. And that was just my decision. How about? Man, you better not. What if Shane bag, killed huh? Dale, bro? I'd be so mad. I'm not gonna Seems do Seems like that. something he'd do. Yeah, you are, Dale. Cold light of day. Man, you pretty much dead already. There's the title. Somebody about to have to get shot, man, I think. Is Dale gonna hold the gun at him? I'm gonna have to shoot you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, somebody about to get shot. I have to kill you? Is that what it's gonna take? That's what it's gonna take. He said that's what it's gonna take. Fair enough. I'm glad they got out of that without anything having to go down. But if, if anything did go down, I would have definitely much preferred it was Shane that got shot. You already got yours. Yeah, where's Dale? He's on his way. Oh, we couldn't care. Yeah, well, we can and we have to. Now, look, Man, don't listen to this guy. Picking days. He's, he's just gonna understand, okay? He, well, he's gonna have to. And we need to find Sophia. Am Somebody right? need to stop Shane, man. I want you to take this. You take oh, this is not you. good, man. When Rick ain't around, there's nobody to keep Shane at bay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Somebody's got to stop Shane right now. Okay, so that's the... I thought the whole... I thought the thing had broken out of the barns. Oh my goodness, y'all need to stop. 
Y'all need to chill, man. Y'all are about to ruin everything. Y'all are about to ruin everything. Stop, Shane. What the hell you do? This, they gotta kill all of us Shane, we do. Stop. Hey, Herschel, man, let me ask you something. Carl still holding his side. Breathing person. Did they walk away from this? No! <laughs> oh, stop the tart! It's long! Yeah. Why is it still coming? <laughs> Shane, enough! Hey, you right, man. That is enough. <laughs> You didn't have to go do that, Shane. Like, you really just screwed y'all. Enough, oh. Herschel. Listen to me, man. Please take it now, Herschel. Somebody else take, take it. it. Give it to somebody else so you can go stop Shane. T Dog. Somebody grab the thing. Like, gosh. Why is nobody else grabbing the thing? Daryl. Somebody grab it, man. Glenn. Oh my gosh, why are y'all letting him do this? This is Shane, what are you doing? This is stupid. Why are you doing this? This is not the smart way to go about doing this, even if you were gonna do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> y'all aren't gonna stay there no more. Y'all are gone. Y'all are gone. I hope Herschel understands, man. Y'all about to drive this man crazy. He about to kill one of y'all. Like, what in the world, man? Come on. I'm mad at everybody right now, except for Rick. Like, what is wrong with all these people? Why are they all going with this? Like, at least Andrea, Daryl, t Dog, um... Who else is it? Glenn was even helping? I mean, like... Gosh, man. Why? Y'all just totally ended your chances of being able to stand there. Stay there. Dale's probably like, what have you done? Now, what if another one is still around and somehow gets somebody? How you gonna feel then, Shane? Because you let them out right here in front of everybody. Is that... Oh my gosh. Oh no, that is crazy. I did not see that coming, man. But I was thinking, I mean, I was definitely thinking earlier, I was about to say, at this point, if this show is doing anything realistically, they're not gonna find, um, what's her name, Sophia alive. I was like, if they find Sophia alive, that's gonna kind of feel like, you know, like not real, it's not gonna match with this world. That is crazy. They just did all this and then Sophia walks out. I thought maybe somebody was gonna walk out and then get somebody and then, that's so much worse. That is crazy. Don't run up to her. Is Rick gonna shoot her? Looks like it's gonna be Rick. Man, it's just like the first scene too, when Rick shot a little girl. At this point, they already lost any hope of being able to stay at this farm. And Sophia was dead now. So it's not like Rick just killed Sophia or anything. They didn't take the easy route out there, man. I really was thinking, I was like, okay, while I do want to see Sophia get found and all that, I'm like, if Sophia does get found, that will kind of dilute and water down everything that this show has shown us so far. You know what I mean? Like, there are rarely happy endings in this world. So I was like, at this point, Sophia realistically would not be around and be okay somewhere. But I didn't see that coming, though. And I mean, it's one of those things where I'm mad I didn't see it coming because it feels like everything was aligning so perfectly to that being what it was headed towards and whatnot. And like from a like just a writing standpoint it seems like that was such a good idea and such a cool thing cool way to bring things to and a cool place to um have them actually find sophia and i'm like i'm like actually mad that i didn't realize that that's what was about to happen so like oh my goodness that's so cool that they did it that way i mean geez man like this just made me like this show like even way more just the fact that they really went there and like they were just real about it like at this point, if a girl, like, I mean, like, I'll, obviously, I still agree with Rick that you keep on finding until you, I mean, you keep on looking until you know for sure 
Like I'm not with Shane and that just forget about it, give up on her, da 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 da. But at the same time, realistically, I'm like, after all this time, yeah, realistically, she probably wasn't going to be okay. And I was wondering if this show was really going to like portray that or if they were going to somehow find her and everything would be haunty dory. And since Carl ended up being okay, that kind of, you know, made it even, I guess, a little bit more likely that Sophia wasn't going to be because it's like, well, we gave y'all that one kid, but the other one, they're still not going to be okay. We're, we're still going to allow them to die. So, man, that was a really cool ending of the episode. And I could feel some. I was like, something's about to happen. They're about to have something like pivotal, like super heavy happen after they shoot all these people. Something that's going to like make somebody reevaluate things. But I just did not see that coming. And so now Rick shot Sophia at the end there, which I mean, I kind of, I mean, like I said, I don't think Rick necessarily did anything wrong at that point since, you know, at that point, First of all, shooting Sophia was definitely the thing that had to be done, technically. I mean, she's not alive anymore. She was a walker. Like, I'm sure that's what her mom wanted, too, for him to just, you know, shoot her so that she could stop being that thing. And the damage had already been done in terms of all of those other people, walkers, whatever you want to call them, being shot and whatnot. Like, whatever Herschel thought about it, he already thought now. Like, I mean, if he changed his mind, he changed his mind. If he's ready to just kick them out, he's ready to kick them out. But Rick killing that last one didn't change anything. So it's like, in that sense, yeah. So I guess maybe, you know, Rick went ahead and killed Sophia, and that kind of, like, you know, symbolizes, like, okay, even Rick at this point is, like, he's just, I mean, he's he, obviously that's what he felt was the right thing to do, like killing the walkers, getting rid of the walkers to protect his people. But he was trying to negotiate and meet Herschel halfway and whatnot. So I guess this was Rick just being like, well, okay then. Eventually when you push a man to a certain point, you just gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So I guess that was Rick just doing that. Cause at first I was like, I'll be mad if they make Rick go and do it. Cause I'm like, I don't want it to feel like Rick is all of a sudden changing sides over now too. But I don't really feel like that's what happened. I am mad at everybody else though, honestly. Like obviously I'm so mad at Shane for this episode. Like Shane, obviously, he's done some bad things before and really was starting to get questionable when he shot Otis. Like I said, that was still kind of like an ambiguous thing where you're like, yeah, I guess he had good intentions. But it's like at this point, at this episode, no, nah, man, Shane, Shane ain't it. I am tired of Shane. Like he is really rubbing me the wrong way. Everything he's been doing, he's just clearly not a good guy at this point. It's starting to feel like he is the straight up antagonist of this show. It really is. I mean, if we're looking for a human person that we can be against rather than like just the circumstance of the world and the fact that everything's a everybody's a walker and there's hardly any food, da da da. If we're excluding all those type of antagonists, if we're looking for a human who is the antagonist of this series right now, it's feeling like Shane. So I'm hoping that he's gonna have some type of redemption arc or something and will become a good person somehow. Or he's just going to die because otherwise I'm getting tired of this dude. Like, in a good way, though. Like, in a good way. In a way where, like, I respect him. I respect the writers and everything. I think they're doing a good job with it. It's not like I'm getting tired of him in that, oh, I can't stand watching him anymore. They need to take him off. It's more like I'm getting tired of him in that they're doing a good job of making me hate this character. Because Shane is too much. And then I'm mad that all those other people just followed him like that. Like, it feels like <laughs> if Rick's not around... There's like I said, there's nobody to keep Shane at bay and they'll just follow Shane and do whatever he says to do now, which is a little annoying. It's like that shows how good of a leader Rick is. He keeps these people, you know, kind of <laughs> at bay doing the right thing when even when there's somebody like Shane around that could so easily influence them into doing this. Because now I, I really wasn't expecting everybody to do that. I mean, I, I don't know why. I just thought maybe the rest of them would come to their senses. But no, like everybody just started pulling out guns and stuff. And just shooting the people. And yeah, I get it. Like, technically, they're not real people anymore. They're dead. They're walkers. Shane was right when he did the whole shooting thing and she's still moving. How can she be alive? He was right. But at the end of the day, this is also about survival. Y'all had good land here. Y'all had a good place to stay. And maybe Herschel would have allowed you to stay if you would have just respected his rules. And you could have, like Rick said, just helped secure the place, help make sure those walkers weren't going to get out. And honestly, in my eyes, that would have been a fair trade. I would have been like, okay, if y'all want to hoard these walkers, <laughs> then fine. We can do that as long as we're keeping it safe and we're being safe. We're staying safe, not going back out into the world. But no, just had everybody just had to go and decide to 
shoot all the walkers that aren't even on your land is on Herschel's land. So now who knows what Herschel's gonna do, man. He he just looked distraught. I can't even tell where he's gonna go from here. Like, I really hope that maybe he'll have a change of heart or something and we'll let him stay. But probably not because it's a TV show and they gotta stay in conflict and have bad things happen to them. So now that they've found Sophia and Herschel probably hates them, I highly doubt they're gonna be staying at this farm any longer. The show is probably about to start progressing us on to the next place. Cause I don't, this doesn't seem like the show that wants to stay stagnant too long. They don't want to keep the characters in the same kind of setting for too long of a stretch. So I'm pretty positive we're not going to be at this farm for very much longer. I guess we're just going to have to continue trying to trek towards Fort Benning maybe. But yeah, otherwise this episode, this was a good episode. You know, I mean, it really just felt like a kind of everything kind of coming to a head episode. You know what I mean? After last episode, all those secrets starting to come out, this felt like maybe the repercussions in a lot of way. Because, you know, like, Lori finally told Rick about her pregnancy. Well, really, he found out, but, you know. So now Shane finds out, and, of course, Shane is going to start doing some crazy stuff. So, yeah, this episode, Shane finding out about the pregnancy, <laughs> that doesn't feel like that can lead to anything good at all. Just basically this episode was completely just Shane getting on my nerves. That's what this episode was. Like that's the, really the only way to describe this episode for me. It's just like the whole episode, Shane is just being like, being a total heel. Like it's so annoying. I mean, the way he was treating Dale, like as the show goes on, I'm liking Dale more and more. I mean, whether you agree with him or not and the things he does, it feels like he always has good intentions. And he's just always trying to do what he feels is right. And not in the way that Shane's trying to do what he feels is right. Because that typically doesn't feel like the right thing at all. But, yeah, man. I don't know. This episode, Shane just made me kind of mad after all this. I guess that's all of my thoughts on this. I'm glad to see Maggie and Glenn back together. You know, if whatever together means. For those two, they've been so, you know, up and down this whole time. Um, man, we didn't really move that forward, that much forward, I guess, with like the pregnancy and all that type of stuff. We're probably going to do that at another time. It was cool seeing Carl kind of stand up to Shane a little bit earlier in the episode. You know, I really can't wait to see more of Carl and what all he's going to do. It's cool to see how much Daryl did care about finding Sophia and how much Carol appreciates that and kind of this bond that is starting to grow between Daryl and Carol. <laughs> Daryl and Carol. This was The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 7. Pretty much dead already. I enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And head on over to Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube and you're interested in seeing the full uncut reactions to The Walking Dead weeks ahead of the YouTube schedule. That's going to be it. I will see you all later.